Nation. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! <laughs> You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we are in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! <laughs> wow! What a spectacular <laughs> jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We're in the outback, so let's go find a kangaroo! Oh, hi there! I'm Rooney! What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi, Rooney! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! <laughs> We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Oh, Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Wow, Barry, you make painting look so fun. It is fun, Mika. Whoa, I want to try that. Hmm, not quite what I pictured in my head. That looks great, Blippi. Remember, there are no mistakes in art. It's Bowie! Oh, hey! How you doing, Blippi crew? Wow, rainbows are the coolest. <gasps> we should paint a rainbow next. Oh, what a great idea. Hey, I love this guy. Hmm, I wonder, how do you paint a rainbow when you only have red, yellow, and blue? Oh, three colors is all we need. I'll be right back. Come on, Debo! <laughs> Oh, I got to do a quick appearance in New Zealand, but I'll be back to check out your paintings. Bye-bye, Bowie. Wow. What's that? It's the Paint Mixer 5000. It's going to help us make a rainbow. Are you ready, Debo? It's mixing time. Whoopsie. Wrong button. Whoa, Debo, you're orange now. But how did red and yellow make orange? It's because red and yellow are primary colors, and blue too. When you mix two primary colors together, you make a secondary color, like green, orange, and purple. So cool. Next, let's make green. You got it, Debo, pour in the yellow and blue. 
new color coming up. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> now all we need for the rainbow is my favorite color. Purple! Maybe if we mix red and blue. We haven't tried that yet. <laughs> now we just need to mix these together. And shake it up! <laughs> it's purple! <laughs> Yay! Let's go paint that rainbow! Why just paint a rainbow when you can experience a rainbow? <laughs> Come on, let's go! Ready to experience a rainbow? Yeah! yeah. Hit it, Debo! Yeah! Surf's up! I love artistic expression! Oh, wow, we zip zoom bang. You made a full rainbow experience. I love it. I truly feel seen. <laughs> and I got the answer to my question How do you paint a rainbow with only red, yellow, and blue? You mix them to make orange, green, and purple. Upload answer, Debo. Let's party! Yahoo! Yeah. <laughs> Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! Whoa! Look at all those elephants! Hmm, I wonder, what do elephants use their trunks for? You're right, Debo. We should go ask one and find out. I'm gonna need a water hose and duck feet. Water hose, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. <laughs> Yikes! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Yeah! Cannonball! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and that's Debo. Hey, we were wondering, what do elephants use their trunks for? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Tempo. We elephants use our trunks to help cool down by sucking up water and spraying it on our body. Like this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go down the slide again. Race you to the shore! You're on! Whoa! How could you breathe underwater? That's another great thing about my trunk. I can breathe through it. Wow! Just like my nose! <coughs> <coughs> exactly. Hey, speaking of noses, I smell bananas. Elephants have an excellent sense of smell. Come on, hop on my back. Oh, boy! Another slide! I wish we could go down that one, but the path is blocked! Check this out! Another great thing about trunks is that I can move just about anything! Last one down is a banana peel! Whoa! This is the best day ever! Whoa! Ready or not? also use their trunks to make sounds, like when we are excited. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Tembo, for helping me find the answer to my question. What do elephants use their trunks for? 
Elephants use their trunks to smell, breathe, make sounds, suck up water, and even grab things. <laughs> Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Blippi. See you next time you're in the savannah. Bye-bye, Tembo. <laughs> we had such a blast. Activate Blippi Station. It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi. Mmm, salad. Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in the mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth! Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth! You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. Activate Blippi Station! It's time to get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! You look like a fireman! Now you look like a construction worker! <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out. I'm gonna need a grabber arm. Grabber arm confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Uh, uh, hey, do you know any cowboys? Whoa. Whoa there! <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to these parts? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right ranch. Giddy up! But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right! I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> here, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide brim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, oh, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy! 
But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool! Woo! Whoa! Uh-oh! <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippi. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring. Hop on. Let's ride! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippi Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to wrangle. We gotta spread out and move in the direction for the cows to go toward the pen. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yippee! <laughs> well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is. But it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. <laughs> Debo, look how the water is carrying the frisbee far away towards that island. Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right. Let's go ask the island and find out. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet. Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Oh, hello up there. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow, these colorful coral reefs are so beautiful. We can see so much now. And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought. Thanks. I'm even bigger. You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh, Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait! Are we at the bottom now? No! You've reached my knees! Still a bit of a way to go! Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom! Woohoo! I knew you did! You made it, Blippi! <laughs> You're at my feet! Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, 
mountain. You're attached to the bottom of the sea. You're like a mountain. <laughs> oh, Bebo! Oh, no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Blippi! Whoa! Look! A bird flying at night! Huh, it's a bat! Hmm, I wonder, how do bats fly in the dark? Good idea, Debo. Let's take flight in the night. I'm going to need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Whoa! Whose lights are those? Hey! It's me, Blippi! I put my bright headlights on to find you! Oh, hey, Blippi! I'm Matt the Bat! I was just heading out to fly my favorite flying course. You want to join me? Sure! I was wondering how bats fly in the dark. I can show you! But one thing, Blippi, no headlights. Got it. Let's go. Whoa! It's so dark. Twigs! Raj! Look out! Whoa! Blippi, didn't you hear that tree? No, I didn't. Wait, did you say hear the tree? Yeah, I can hear everything in my way. Heads up! Rocks! Whoa! How do you do that? Bats have a special skill called echolocation. I make sounds and they bounce off objects and echo so I can tell where the objects are and how far away I am from them. Really, Debo? You have echolocation too? Because you're a robot dog? <laughs> well, let's use it. Whoa! Let's fly! Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whee! <sighs> nice flying, guys. Thanks! And I have the answer to my question. How do bats fly in the dark? Echolocation! Bats make high-pitched sounds that bounce off objects and echo, so they can safely hear where they're at in the dark. Upload answer, Debo. Oh, look, it's bedtime. Fun flying with you, Blippi and Debo. You sleep upside down? Whoa, bats are amazing. Bye-bye, Matt the Bat. Fun in the sun? Here we come! Good idea, Tabs! I should put some sunscreen on first. Oh no! I can't find it. Hmm, I wonder, why do I have to wear sunscreen? Oh no! Is it really that important? What are we gonna do? Your super sunscreen to the rescue! Whoa! Hola, amigos! That means hello, friends. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Here, Blippi, hold out your hands. Okay. Even though sunlight is good for you, we need to make sure you're protected. Perfecto, Blippi! All right. Now we can finally have some fun in the sun. Uh-oh. Hey there, Boom. Blippi! You can't go play yet. You missed the spot. Huh? How can you?
can you tell? Here, look through these special sunglasses I made. Whoa! Cool! That's the sunscreen working to protect you. The sun gives off extra strong beams of light called ultraviolet rays. Even though you can't see ultraviolet rays, too much can cause a sunburn. What's this spot? That's the spot you missed. I hold out your hand, Bleepy. All right. Oh, no! That person missed a spot, too. We must protect them with sunscreen. To the Blippi Mobile. Go, Blippi, go! I'm gonna need helicopter blades and the harness. Helicopter blades, harness confirmed. Shrinking down! <laughs> The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoever! Save that sunbather from sunburn. All right, Tabs. Let's protect some skin. Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! More to the right, Tabs. Now left. We did it! Rowing up! Weppa! Nice job, Bleepy! Thanks for a super adventure, Senior Super Sunscreen. And I got the answer to my question. Why do I have to wear sunscreen? I have to wear sunscreen because it protects our skin from the ultraviolet light of the sun, which can cause sunburn. Upload answer tabs. Now, who's up for some fun in the sun? Yeah! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. I wonder, how does a guitar work? <laughs> You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Rock and roll! That sounded great. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note! <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> Well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down, too. When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates. And the sound hole there makes it super loud. Huh? Like, a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> huh? 
Hello! Wow! That was loud! Right! Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! And now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. You're right, Debo. This is a kangaroo crossing. And we're in Australia. So, I guess you never know when a kangaroo might... Whoa! Bounce in! Wow! What a spectacular jump! Hmm, I wonder, how high can a kangaroo jump? Great idea! We'll go ask that kangaroo. I'm gonna need frog legs for this adventure. Frog legs confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We're in the Outback, so let's go find a kangaroo! Oh, hi there! I'm Rooney! What brings you to these parts in your cool looking car? Hi, Rooney! It's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! <laughs> We wanted to see how high a kangaroo can jump. Pleasure to meet ya. Well, I can jump as high as your mobile here, but I can jump higher. Whoa! Rooney's hopping pretty high and super fast. Ah, you're pretty fast yourself. You up for a little race, Blippi? Sounds fun. All right, let's race around that big sandstone rock down there. We call it Uluru, or Ayers Rock. It's the heart of Australia. Whoa, so cool. And the first bag here wins. You're on, Rooney. By the way, there may be a fence or two in the way. Good to know. <laughs> the best jumper we've ever seen! And now I have the answer to my question. How high can a kangaroo jump? Kangaroos can jump up to 10 feet off the ground. Upload answer, Debo. That was fun, Blippi. Woo, gotta cool down. That's why I'm licking my arm. It's a kangaroo thing. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye! Tabs, look at this amazing rainforest. You're right. I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder what kind of animals live in a rainforest. I'm going to need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye. The giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. 
Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye. I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. It's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream. Unless it was bamboo flavor. Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing. There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's recent Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no! I'm going to be late again! Sorry, we need to go! Oh, not again! I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs! Hello! <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bye. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye bye. Sorry, tabs. I was just making a T Rex shadow puppet with my hand. Aw, what a tiny dinosaur. Hmm, I wonder, what was the smallest dinosaur? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! Whoa! We traveled 125 million years into the past, Tabs. Whoa! A dinosaur! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. You wouldn't happen to be the smallest dinosaur, would you? Oh, oh phew! I thought you were a scary dinosaur. <laughs> I'm Seamus. This is just my head. I'm stuck again. Never fear! Mina is here! Howdy! I'm Mina the Microraptor. Why do you say we try to dig my friend Seamus out? I might be only one foot tall, but I'm pretty strong. I've got an idea. Be back in a jiffy! Coconut shovels? What a great idea. Lucky for us, my four wings help me fly up there extra fast. Oh no, my coconut shovel broke. Mine, too. Are you able to move, Seamus? <laughs> well, you did your best, but I guess I live here now. Maybe if we had something slippery, we could pull you out. Hey, I know a cave filled with super slippery slime! This way! Whoa, this hole is super tiny. Are you sure you can fit? Never fear, Mina is here! Be right back! Uh oh. <laughs> Whoa! Are you okay? I got the slime! Yeah! <laughs> oh! I can't believe it! <laughs> I'm free! Hooray! We did it! Roar! <laughs> But even I can do better than that. Wait, micro raptors are the smallest dinosaurs? We sure are, and we roar like this. Roar! Ah, scary dinosaurs! Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> Ferocious friends sure are fun, and I got the answer to my question. What was the smallest dinosaur? 
the smallest dinosaur was the Microraptor. Microraptors are only one foot tall, have four wings, and lived 125 million years ago. Upload answer tabs. See you later, Blippi! Buh bye Mina! The rain will be gone soon, Tabs? Great! Since I just finished my fun painting! Can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs! Exactly right! It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors! <gasps> Whoa! A rainbow! So many colors! I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs! We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please. The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer. I'm Bowie the Rainbow. Whoa, hey, it's me Blippi. I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one. I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Lippy. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just ran too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets, like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. <laughs> nice catch, Debo. Do you hear that? That's one cool beat. I can't stop moving. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why does music make us want to dance? Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. Hey, Benjamin. That was some pretty sweet beatboxing you were doing. Yeah, it made me want to dance. Hey, Benjamin, do you know why music makes us want to move our bodies and dance? I sure do. Just shrink down to my size and I'll show you. All right. Shrinking down. <laughs> awesome. Now we're ready to party. Yeah. Hit it, DJ D Bops. <laughs> When we hear music, we enjoy the sound of it. This beat makes me want to move my feet. I love this song. And our bodies want to explain how the noise is being made. So we move in a way that matches the rhythm. On the beat. Woo, a classical song. Love your moves, Blippi. Check out yours, Mika. <laughs> now we've got the same move. 
moves. Together. Woohoo! Hey, DJ D Bops, pick up that tempo! Flippy, I challenge you to a dance off! It's on! Dance on! Go, Flippy! Go, Flippy! Break it down, Mika! a nice ring. It makes me wanna sing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost forgot one more thing about dancing. What is it? That it's super fun. Oh, yeah. It's a blast. <laughs> Thanks for answering my question, Benjamin. Music makes us want to dance because our bodies want to match the beat it's a great way to connect with friends, and it's so much fun! Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Who's ready for a dance-off? Round two. <laughs> it's on! Dance on! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the bubbles! <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make bubbles? Great idea! We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh. <laughs> sure am. My mom loves you! Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Debo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked! The surfaces of bubbles are soft. Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just the fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high! 
Hi, Marvin. And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin. Bye-bye, Blippi. Bye-bye, everyone. Holy smokes! A volcano! That's right, Devo. When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out. I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield. Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go through the side vent into the volcano. Whoa, whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here. Whoa! Hey there, I'm Maggie the Magma Monster. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats. Oh. <laughs> Below us, deep in the Earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. Ow. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava. Ow. Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Blippi! Magma! Phew, that was close. Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie. Mmm, yum. These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious. Oh, what a mess. Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling. Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hey, Devo! I think I know that fly! It's Horace! Hi, Blippi! How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? Oh, it's easy! Watch this! Ta da! Wow! Yes, sir -y. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor! Skip it, but it, dip, 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 Now you try! Here goes! Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling, too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some. Don't mind if I do. Here goes. Whoa! Oh, now 
I stick to the ceiling too. Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh! The glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist! Do the fly leg twist! Get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy Wonders! <laughs> you can't catch me, Mika! Activate Flippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about. Flippy! Whoa! Whoa! That one's blue! That one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, no, 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 no! Never get too close to fireworks! Be safe! Give them some space! Okay! Hey! It's me, Flippy, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast and sends the fireworks as high as a thousand feet into the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa! Great. Even in the air, remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful. Into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right, let's go. <gasps> Here it comes, the grand finale. Whoa, Whoa look at that. What an amazing show. And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Icy the moon.
stars. And is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up! <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to outer space. I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on! Next up is the giant Jupiter. Bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course! Whoa! 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 We haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune. Whoa, I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Race you to the ball pit. Okay, Blippi. Huddle ball. <laughs> Whoa! Silly somersaults! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was totally awesome, Debo! <laughs> I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? <laughs> Lily! What a cute name! Great idea, Lily! <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. <gasps> Oh, no! Lily's probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now, hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? She's so excited! Ready, go, fetch! Oh, 
she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no! Is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! <laughs> Hugs? <laughs> Not so hard, Blue! Good girl, Lily. <laughs> Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah. Dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> Look at that cute little squirrel digging a hole! Did you see her bury that nut? So true, Debo. We do need to know the answer. I wonder, why do squirrels bury their nuts? I'm gonna need the excavator arm and wings! Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look, Debo! This is an acorn! It's a type of nut, and squirrels love them. Here, squirrely, squirrely! We have an acorn over here! Nuts! Nuts! I need more nuts! I can't get enough nuts! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And this is my friend Debo. He found a nut for you. Not? Oh, thanks for the acorn, Blippi. My name is Sparky. I'm kind of a nut expert. Then you have to tell us, Sparky. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? What? You don't bury your nuts? Huh? <gasps> Come with me. No time to waste. We need nuts, 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 and more nuts. <sighs> this is the garden, my favorite place to collect and bury things. You know, I can bury 25 things an hour. That's a lot of burying. How do you remember where you put it all? I keep everything up here in the old furry head. My memory is amazing. You think you can remember like I can? <laughs> you want to try it? We sure do. <laughs> OK, now watch. OK, do you remember where I just buried all those acorns? Of course we do. Easy peasy. Not an acorn! This is harder than I thought! <laughs> Hello, huh? yummy walnut! <gasps> we can't find any acorns! That's right! Because I take special care to hide my nuts so only I can find them. That's how I keep them safe. And then I'll dig them up in the winter when I'm hungry and food is harder to find. So cool! And I found the answer to my question. Why do squirrels bury their nuts? Squirrels bury their nuts and other things so they can eat them later and have enough food during the winter. Upload answer, Devo. <laughs> Bye, Sparky. Bye-bye. <laughs> Keep digging. <laughs> wow. Look at those birds. Whoa. Wow! Look at all these animals we're finding! Maybe we'll find the king of the jungle next. Ah! <gasps> That's not the king of the jungle. King of the jungle? Wait, are, are you looking for a lion? Well, there's not really any lions in the jungle. You gotta go to the savannah for that. Out there! Hmm, I wonder. 
Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Whoa! <laughs> Lion! Cool! Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Tabs. Hello, Blippi and Tabs. I'm Jabari, the king of the jungle. I was just sharpening my kingly skills on the lion obstacle course. The lion obstacle course? That's so cool! Would you like to train with me? If you complete the course, I'll make you honorary lions! Yeah! <laughs> Our first lesson is here, where you will learn to sneak like a lion. Sneak like a lion. Got it. Shh. Not so loud, Blippi. You will scare off the prey. The prey? The prey is the butterfly. Oh, I get it. Sneaky. Ow! <laughs> Not bad for a first try. Yeah! Let's try the next lesson. Jumping! Crouch down and feel your energy. Then, when you are ready, release the energy and jump! Are you ready, Tabs? Jump like a lion! Yes! Great job! Now there's one more lesson. Hop on my back and hang on tight! Yay! Whoa. Welcome to the Roaring Arena! To roar like a lion, follow along. First, find your power. Lift up and roar! Way to go, Blippi and Tabs! You are now honorary lions! Thanks, Jabari. We had so much fun. And I got the answer to my question. Why are lions called the king of the jungle? Even though lions are called king of the jungle, they actually live on the savanna. Lions are sneaky hunters, big jumpers, and have really loud roars. Upload answer tabs. See you next time we're in the savanna, Jabari. Goodbye, Blippi and Tabs. Come back and roar with me anytime. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? <laughs> Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Hmm, even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything <gasps> disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing. Come see, it's the best show in town. The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark. Cool. Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, no. Huh? I got it. Phew. That was close. 
sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh. That's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. <sighs> Are you ready, Mika? Yeah, Blippi. Let's go. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Do you want to have some fun? Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun. Fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey. Summer is here, let's go and play I wonder what fun we'll have today Let's play catch with a ball and glove Summer is the season that I love We can splash in the swimming pool Come on, Blue, you can join in too I'm excited, I can't wait Just remember to hydrate Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun Yeah, yeah, yeah Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Eating ice cream when the weather's hot. Please be careful or it will drop. The crew's eating popsicles, one for me, please. Oh no, watch out! Boom's got a brain freeze. I like two scoops on my ice cream cone for Debo too, instead of a phone. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun. In the sun. Hey, hey, hey! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, let's have some fun. Oh, hey there, Sun. Hey there, Blippi. When you're shining, it's so much fun. Hmm, I wonder, how do you shine so bright? Well, I'm actually a big ball of gas which creates a lot of energy, both heat and light. Wow, that's so interesting. Okay, upload answer, Debo, and let's go. <laughs> Driving around in the Blippi Mobile, me and Debo behind the wheel. Fun in the sun, playing on our speakers. Wind in our hair and feeling the beat, yeah. Summer is my favorite time of year. The sun shines bright and the sky is clear. I'm excited, I can't wait. Just remember to hydrate. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. This is so much yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. We can dig the pool with hey, our hey, excavator. Hey. Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey there, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's have fun in the sun, fun in the sun. Hey, Miss Sun, it's been so fun. 
Buh bye Activate Blippy Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippy! Whoa, look at that, Tabs! It's an adorable kitty cat! <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers! Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs! Let's follow that kitty cat and find out! I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Ready for adventure! Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa! What was that? Hey! It's me, Blippi! What's your name? Hit please the name, and treats are my game! Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> Holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. <laughs> Yeehaw! Woo! Flawless. How do you land so perfect? My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this! Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippi! It's so dark! How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats! No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all! What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye-bye, Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi Wonders! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, time for bed. Aw, but we're having so much fun! Hmm, I wonder, why do we have to sleep? Hey, it's me, Blippi! And this is Benjamin and Debo. Well, hello there. Are we all ready for a bedtime story? Not yet. We need to go through my bedtime checklist first. Pajamas? Yeah! Check! Brush teeth? <laughs> Check! Okay, Mr. Book, we're ready. Ooh. Our slumber saga begins with two familiar friends looking for fun and adventure. Ribbit! That sounds like Debo! Oh no! It is Debo! We gotta save him! Blippi and Benjamin to the rescue! Whoa. Our heroes could not begin their adventure without a good night's sleep. Mm. 
<sighs> Maybe we should rest first. <sighs> Good idea, Blippi. They soon found that sleep gave them the energy to scale any obstacle, however mighty. Wow! I feel great! Look out, mountain! Here we come! They danced. <laughs> and they leapt. Until they reached the top of the mountain. Hmm. We're coming, Debo! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whoa! whoa. Ah. Ooh, that was a close one. <sighs> Maybe if we push the boulder in the hole, we can walk across it. But the energizing effects of sleep were starting to wear off. <laughs> it's no use. Maybe we should rest. Our daring duo woke up with rested minds and strengthened bodies. I feel stronger. Look, we grew bigger too. <laughs> All right. But there was one more obstacle for our duo to tackle. Hi, Bella. Would you mind moving so Debo can get down? I don't want to move. I'm grumpy. I think Bella needs a nap. Let's all take a nap. Okay, fine. I feel great. Me too. That nap made me happy. Woohoo! Time to hula hoop! <laughs> that day, Blippi and his friends learned that sleep is the secret ingredient to happiness. <laughs> wow! That was awesome! And I got the answer to my question. <gasps> Why do we have to go to sleep? Because it gives you energy makes you big and strong, and makes you happy too. Upload answer, Debo. Good night, Blippi, Debo, and Benjamin. Sleep tight. <laughs> ah, Italy, what a cool country. Someone's got the tummy rumbles. I am feeling hungry. Great idea, Debo. Let's get an authentic Italian pizza. <laughs> Ciao! Did someone say pizza? I'm Paola Parmigiano. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Mika and Debo. Hi, Paola. We love a slice of pizza. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, I have some bad news. I'm sold out. Oh. But I could help you make a fresh pizza of your own. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder, how do you make pizza? Come on in. All right. I'm going to need the excavator arm and wings. Excavator arm, wings, confirmed. Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, let's get this pizza started. The first step is kneading the dough. Huh? Kneading means to press and fold the dough like this. Ooh. Ooh. This strengthens the structure. Woohoo! <laughs> wow! The next step is to stretch the dough until it's the proper pizza shape. Everyone, grab an edge! One, two, three! <laughs> Look out! The next step is to cover our stretched out dough in the sauce! All right! The next step is to put on the cheese. Huh? The sauce is hot lava! Woo! <laughs> 
now it's my favorite part. Choosing toppings that you love to make the best pizza ever. How about mushrooms? Olives coming through. <laughs> Our smiling pizza makes me smile. Me too. It's time for the last step. Are you ready, Bleepy? Ready, Paula. Time to bake the pizza. But you have to be very careful. The oven is hot. Careful. Careful. Yeah! Delicioso! Thanks for answering my question, Paula. Pizza is made by kneading and stretching the dough, adding sauce, cheese, and toppings, and then baking it all in the oven. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Ciao for now. Ciao, Paola. Grazie for the pizza. Bye bye. Uh. Whoops. <laughs> Excuse me. That was a big burp, Blippi. Hmm. I wonder why do people burp? Oh, I can tell you, but it's more fun to show you. Off to the nearest mouth. All right, I'm gonna need frog legs. Frog legs confirmed. Shrinking down! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! Well, that was fun. Debo, you can open your eyes now. I think it's over. Here we go again! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! I'm gonna need monkey arms. Monkey arms confirmed. Whoa! 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 What's that? It's called the esophagus. We all have them. It's a long tube that connects the throat to the stomach. Woo! Esophagus. That's a fun word. E soph a gus. <coughs> Whoa! He's coughing up a storm. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are ideal conditions for a big old. So cool! Careful! The bubble's delicate and can explode at any moment! <laughs> yes, get it! Get it, Bob! Whee! <laughs> oh, yeah! The bubble is all the extra air that this guy swallowed! It's like a trampoline! Whoa! whoa, whoa. Bubble is rising up the esophagus and toward the mouth. <laughs> Whoa! Excuse me. Oh yeah! Experiment complete. <laughs> that was so fun, and I got the answer to my question. Why do people burp? People burp when they swallow too much air, and it builds up inside the esophagus. The body gets rid of the air by burping. <coughs> Upload answer, Debo. I think it's time to dance. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. Let's boom cha cha with boom. Boom cha cha, boom cha cha, boom. <laughs> Even bouncier! Wow, what an amazing sandcastle! Wave incoming! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. 
Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crikey, I don't know my own strength. Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right, Crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished. Success. You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat. And best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to mm. catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. <laughs> What's making that sound? Oh, it's a race car. It's going so fast. You're right. The Blippi Mobile could never go that fast. Hmm. I wonder, why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? Good idea, Debo. We can go to the racetrack and find out. I'm gonna need race car tires. Race car tires confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hi! Are you here to try out the race track? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're actually here to find out why race cars are so much faster than regular cars. Hi, I'm Ricardo. Let me show you on the track. Let's race. All right. Before we race, I have a really important job for you, Debo. Huh? I need you to be the captain of the pit stop. During the race, I'll pull in here so you can keep me in tip-top shape. Can you help out and do that job? <laughs> oh, nice try, Debo. But what you'll be doing is gassing up my tank and swapping out my tires. Okay, race time! Helmets on and buckle up! Whoa! I'm going really fast! Whoa! I'm not even going as fast as I can! Only 180 miles per hour now! Race cars are made out of a lighter material than regular cars, plus my shape helps me race easier into the wind. It's called aerodynamics. You and my Blippi Mobile are definitely different shapes. Pit stop, Captain. Do your thing. You can do it, Debo. 
Ricardo, do you have special tires? I do! My tires are wider and softer than regular car tires, so I can go even faster on this super hot track! Thanks, Debo! Now you're even faster! My powerful engine is five times stronger than a regular car's. I can reach my top speed of 220 miles per hour. See you at the finish line, Blippi! Whoa! I'm blown away! But now I have the answer to my question. Why are race cars so much faster than regular cars? It's because race cars are aerodynamic and made out of a lighter material, have special tires to race on the hot track, and a super powerful race car engine! Huh? Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Ricardo! Bye, Blippi! Bye, Debo! Ciao! <laughs> Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun. It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had! <laughs> Bye, Rocky! Keep on bouncing, Blippi! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at all the blinking fireflies! One, two, three! One, two, three! Oh, I love counting! Don't you, Debo? <laughs> hey, get back here, you silly! What you got there, Debo? Hmm, I wonder, why do fireflies light up? I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! Shrinking down! The 
Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Look at all those different flashing patterns! Maybe it's a counting game! One, two, three! One, two, three! Whoa! <laughs> Whoops! Hey! It's me, Blippi! I was wondering, why do fireflies light up? Hey! I'm Felicia! And if there's one thing you gotta know about us fireflies, it's that we are all about that blink! One, two, three! One, two, three! You again? <laughs> Just try and catch me this time! Debo! <laughs> I like your style, Debo! I've never seen moves like that! One, two, three! One, two, three! When fireflies blink, it's because they like another firefly style! And with style like that, I just can't stop! Everybody, stop! Oh, no! Not today, froggy boy! Felicia saves the day! <sighs> Works every time! Fireflies also light up when there is danger around. Oh, like a warning signal to predators to stay away? Yep. Nope, not my style. Not bad, but nah. Hey, Blippi, will you help me find a firefly with a blinking style like mine? You mean like a counting game? Yeah! Do you remember my flash pattern? One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it! We found your match! Now that's my style. <laughs> what a great adventure! And I got the answer to my question. Why do fireflies light up? Fireflies light up to warn predators to stay away and to help them find other fireflies with the same blinking style. Upload answer, Devo. Thanks for your help, Blippi! Bye, Felicia! One, two, three! One, two, three! Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi. I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be! <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. Got to chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha! Ha ha! I rhymed again! <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. Ah, the nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear! This may look fun.
honey, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Okay, Babble. I spy with my little eye something that starts with J. Plenty of sea creatures start with J. Jackfish, jelly mouse fish, even jewelfish. Not now, Tabs. I'm looking for a jayfish. Oh, it's jellyfish. <laughs> okay, Tabs. Your turn. I spy a dolphin. Listen. She's trying to communicate with us. Hmm. I wonder. How do dolphins communicate? Follow! Pursue! Chase! Here we come, little dolphin! Ooh. Whoa! It's so murky! It's murky and hard to see because of all the sand floating in the water! Whoa! Look out! Wow! Uh-oh! <laughs> hey there, Blippi! Oh, hey, Larry! This is Babble and Tabs! Sorry we bonked into you! That's all right! It's all this sand floating around! Well, I'm off to get my teeth cleaned! <laughs> See you later! Buh bye bye How can the dolphins see in this murky water? Think, think, think! Oh, I know! The dolphin is using echolocation. Echo what? Echolocation. It's how some animals like dolphins and bats see objects by reflecting sound off them. Oh, yeah. I'm going to need echolocation. Echolocation confirmed. Incredible. Amazing. Awesome. We should try making clicks like the dolphin. Look! The sound waves from the clicks are bouncing off the objects and coming back to us with information about how far and how big the objects are. Hey! There's the dolphin! We found her! Wait! Come back! I didn't get to say hello! That's it! The dolphin is using a signature whistle to tell you her name. Try mimicking her signature whistle to call her back. All right. She understood me. Hey. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs and Babble. I think she wants to know your signature whistle so she can say your name in her language. Hmm. How about... Oh, what an amazing underwater adventure! And I got the answer to my question. How do dolphins communicate? Dolphins communicate with their signature whistles and chirps. And they can also use clicks to navigate and tell what's ahead. Upload answer tabs. Yes, precisely correct. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Fetch, Debo. <laughs> Whoa! I should have built a bigger moat. Huh? Sorry about your castle, Krabby. Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of sand to rebuild it. <laughs> Good question, Debo. Hmm. I wonder. Where does sand come from? To answer that, you'll have to go to the top of Mount Peaky. To the top of Mount Peaky we go. I'm gonna need wings and frog legs. Wing, frog leg, confirmed. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! 
it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. Hey there, I'm Wayne the Boulder. I just woke up from the best dream. I was a grain of sand living atop a sand castle in a beach paradise. That's so cool. And I want to make my dream a reality. <laughs> Erosion is a process that usually takes millions of years. But let me break it down for you. Cannonball! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm already smaller. Erosion usually takes so long, but I'm feeling ambitious today. Yeah, let's go. Activate propeller. Propeller confirmed. I'm having a lot of fun, Blippi. <laughs> Me too. Whirlpool. Whoa. Erosion makes me dizzy. Water slowly breaks down rocky surfaces, but this whirlpool is really speeding things up. Activate Turbo Booster. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, look how small I am. Shrinking down. Wow, Wayne. You're so small, we can barely keep up. Here's the secret to keeping up. You gotta... Whoa, whoa. 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 Catch that fish! Whoa, Wayne! You're tiny! Yup. <laughs> Even fish play a part in the process of erosion. Now let's go find my dream castle. Whoa! Oh, boy! Here we go! Ah, there! My sand castle's complete! Ha! I did it! My dream came true! Thanks for being a gem during my erosion! It was a blast! And I got the answer to my question. Where does sand come from? Sand comes from big boulders as they break into smaller pieces through a process called erosion, which usually takes millions of years. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye. Goodbye. See you later. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder what's underneath the ocean. Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly! It is a forest! Welcome to my neighborhood! My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right. Thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. Yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <laughs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. 
Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus, and a shark, and a sea turtle, and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter, and a seahorse, and a lobster, and a stingray. Activate Blippi Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi. Whoa, look at all those adorable penguins. Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around. Wow, I think those penguins are flying. Wait a minute, those aren't penguins. <laughs> You're right, Debo. I don't see any penguins flying. Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers. Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Stringy down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> we were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah. It's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go. Whee! Ice slide detour. I'm going to catch some serious air. Watch this. Yay. Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Not this one. No Shimmer Stripes here. Whoa! Woohoo! Where could it be? Shimmer Stripe Iceberg! Yeah! Woohoohoo! Here we go! Whoop. Whoa! <laughs> Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Woohoohoo! Yeah! <laughs> to my question. <laughs> Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. <laughs> they also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes. Bye, Pepper. Whoa, look at those ducks floating in that pond. Exactly, Debo. There's got to be a reason why ducks don't sink. Hmm, I wonder, how do ducks float? Good idea. Let's go ask that one. I'm gonna need duck feet and wings. Duck feet, wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinking down! 
the Blimpy Mobile is ready for adventure. Here, ducky, ducky. Here, little ducky. Whoa! Big ducky. Hang on, Debo. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Well, hello there, Blippi and Debo. I'm Declan. Welcome to the pond. You here for a swim? Well, we're actually here because we really want to know how you float. I never really thought about it. Oh, a, a stuck stew paddle with our feet a lot. Want to take a look? Good idea. I'll check them out. Hmm, we can't get close enough. You're right, we have our binoculars. Whoa! What do you think? You sure have webbed feet. Debo is right. You stopped paddling and you're still floating. Must not be my feet that make me float. Oh, I have an idea. Floating may have something to do with our feathers. Yo, Terry, let Blippi have a look under your feathers. It's a feather tunnel in here. And the feathers are kind of oily. Here ah. again, we make a special oil that keeps our feathers waterproof. Waterproof feathers! Whoa! Is that a bubble? Bubbles? What do they do? It's air! Air bubbles are floating in the feathers like a balloon. Oh, so the bubbles help us ducks float. Hey, Terry, we have air bubbles floating in our feathers. It's true. And now I have the answer to my question. How do ducks float? Duck feathers trap air bubbles and air floats in water. So, ducks float. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Declan. Bye bye Keep floating. Bye, Blippi. Activate Blippi Station! It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Blippi! That's right, Debo. The leaves have almost fallen off the trees. That means winter is coming. Whoa! That is a big bear! It looks like it's ready to hibernate. That's when bears slow down in the winter and rest. Kind of like a bunch of long naps. <laughs> hmm, I wonder, how do bears prepare for hibernation? I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Excavator arm confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. moves you got there. I'm Bella the bear. Hey, it's me Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> We're wondering how bears prepare for hibernation. Is it that time already? It's almost winter. Oh no! I've been having so much fun this summer I totally forgot to prepare. I'm gonna have to move fast. Hey, could you help me? Of course. Thanks, Blippi. I've got quite the checklist. I'm going to have to eat a lot of healthy food and fast <laughs> so I can bulk up my fat and fur to keep me warm. Fish is one of my favorite foods. Whoa! Voila! Oh, right. <laughs> Eating. Oh. Thanks, Blippi. I'll also need to load up on berries. Bella, don't you need to eat the berries? Whoopsie do. Oh. Mm. Thanks, Debo. All right. We're making progress. But now for the tough part. We need to dig in the ground to find roots to eat. <laughs> I know just the thing to speed up the process. Nice work, Blippi. <laughs> well, excuse me. Mm -mm, 
delish! Oh, I just need one more thing to keep me warm. What is it? I need an extra layer to keep warm in my cave. Pine needles! The bare version of a big, comfy blanket. Oh, thanks! That looks extra cozy. <sighs> I'm all ready for hibernation. And I couldn't have done it all in one day without your help. I think we made it just in time. Thanks for answering my question, Bella. Bears prepare for hibernation by eating a lot of healthy food and warming their dens in order to stay comfy in the winter months. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Have a great sleep, Bella. Bye, Blippi. Oh, take care of my hula hoop till summer, Debo. 